Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, here we'll be working on a Lincoln 3.5, 3.7 engine. And we'll show you guys and explain where to locate and how to replace your water pump. Okay, this is your water pump, guys. So, the models that I'm talking about is MKS, MKZ, and MKT, guys. It will be even the same for the MKX. Now, that same engine, guys, you know, it's a Ford engine. It's used in so, so many vehicles, guys. Okay, we have that Ford taken apart here, which is the same engine as the Lincoln MKS, MKZ, and MKT. And we're going to explain, guys, where the pump is located, what needs to be done, and all that stuff. We have more than 200 videos on every car and engine we get at the shop, every Lincoln, guys. So please subscribe to the channel. Our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. All the tools and parts, including replacement tools, special tools that you need to use, all that will be listed in the description of the video below for your convenience. Now, what needs to be done, guys? Okay, quite, quite a few things. Why? You need to remove your intake, upper intake. And when you remove the upper intake, I would advise to remove the lower intake as well. When you do that, okay, every time you need to replace gaskets. But why you need to remove the lower intake, in my opinion? Because this is the water pump coolant pipe right here. And that pipe replaces the seals as well, those O-rings. Because you don't want to do the job again. I would recommend to get the whole gasket kit. It will be listed in the description of the video below. And here you have two more coolant gaskets. So replace all those, otherwise guys you can develop a leak in the future and you have to take the engine apart again. But you definitely have to remove the valve covers. After that guys, okay, you will need to go ahead and remove the belts. And for the power steering you need a special tool listed in the description of the video below. And this is guys the crankshaft pulley. You will be removing this one through the right fender wheel. Okay, right here. So that one will need to be removed and you access the side of the engine and you will need to go ahead and remove the timing cover. Okay, this is your timing cover and we guys made a terrible mistake and we broke ours. This timing cover is glued to the side of the engine really strong so you have to be careful how you pry that thing out because if you're not careful and you apply a little bit more pressure you're going to crack it just like we broke ours. And now we have to spend quite a bit of money for a replacement one. So don't make that mistake, guys. Be very careful. Okay, you have uh, you have two glides, I think, for the cover. Okay, one here and one, I believe, was somewhere here as well. So uh, be careful, guys, okay, how you do that. Now, <laughs> once that is removed, you will need to go ahead and remove timing chain variable timing components all that guys and the video guys is on our channel from start to finish guys but it takes hours of work we uploaded the whole video so please check it out guys it's on our main channel okay how to repair guys okay this channel right there how to repair guys so the video will be listed in the description of the video below and once you do all that okay finally okay you're to the point that you can go ahead and access the water pump which is located okay right here that's where your water pump is guys right there so as a result guys you can see you have to remove timing chain to remove the time and the water pump because our water pump is uh, chain driven after that you need to set your timing and for that you're going to need a special timing too like this one very inexpensive check it out in the description of the video below and you can you can do your timing with that too so thank you guys for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time